Here's some caustic pro tips. There's probably a few you haven't heard about. There are a few different effects in caustic that can't be found in the insert rack. Did you know you could run anything through a format filter? Here's a regular guitar that sounds like this. Simply open up a modular, put in a machine input, and select the source that you want. In this case, we're going from the guitar into a saturator into the formant filter. With a little bit of automation on the morph, it could sound like this. Hi, my name is... The tape stop effect is super easy and caustic. It can sound like this. Simply load up any sample in the PCM synth. Rock hard entertainment. For the mode, switch it to note on off. Stretch the note out for how long you want it to play. Put another note down on C1 for how long you want the tape stop effect to happen. Hit glide. Now it sounds like this. Rock hard entertainment. Just make sure you have the low key set down to C1. Here's another effect I call the slow mo delay effect. Simply set a tempo key at the beginning of the sample. Turn the delay up quite high. Add another keyframe at the end of your sample. We're going to make this twice as slow, so we're going to drop this down to 60. Add another keyframe on the quarter note above that, and just set this at the right tempo that you want. Go into your options and make sure that snap pattern to measure is off so you can put the keyframes at quarter notes. Now it sounds like this. Rock hard in your Here's another cool effect that sounds like this. Rock hard. Load a sample and put the mode to loop forward and back. Now when the sample is playing, highlighted in the orange, you need to glide the notes. So every time it glides, it'll switch directions. This is what the sample looks like when the effect is taking place. Rock hard. Rock hard. Did you know that there's a sub-menu with anything that has a black triangle in the upper left corner? If you long press the metronome, it'll bring you to a submenu where you can count in the measures. Let's set this to 1. Now when we hit record and play, it'll actually count in a measure before starting to record. I bet you didn't even know that this existed either. Long press any of the patterns and it brings you into a submenu where you can use a shuffle override and you can also copy automation. So if we hit copy, open up another sub synth, Long press the pattern, now hit paste, hit back. Now if we go to the automation, it's right there. It's noteworthy that this only works if you use the same machine. There's a secret number pad that you can access if you go to help in the options menu. Go to about caustic. Now go up here to where it says caustic 3.2.0 and tap it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've got a secret number pad. Here are all the codes that go to it. While we're in the options menu, did you know that you can create your own scale? Simply click on this, go and hit new. Let's create a Hawaiian scale. Hit done. Now at the intervals, you can select which ones that you want. Once that we've selected the intervals that we want, go ahead and hit done. Now let's go back to into here, and now we have ourselves the Hawaiian scale. If you ever want to delete it, just simply go back into the same menu, find it, and hit delete. Now it's gone. If you're ever in the modular and you're confused on how something works, a good tip is to simply put it into the note of an oscillator. Let's plug an attack envelope in. Now let's bring up the attack and hit a key. To someone who's just beginning, this might be easier to comprehend than doing things with volume, especially when it comes to decay and sustain. Let's bring the sustain up a little bit. Now let's drop it down all the way. Let's shorten the decay. Speaking of decay, do you know that you can decay a decay? Here's what it sounds like, just plugged in by itself. But if we plug in the second one, have it at the same parameter, now listen. Before, after. Did you know that you can create a single cycle waveform from any sample that you want and load it into the waveform editor? Go to Tools, Standalone Wave Editor, File, Load. I suggest using a snare. Zoom into any part you want. I suggest hitting the lock 
so things snap into place. You can't have things too long, so I suggest using something that's 0 0.025 long. Go ahead and hit Save Selection and save it as whatever you want. Now go back to the Waveform Editor and hit this little paper button to load it. There you are. Now you can use this to FM an oscillator in the modular. Put in a machine input, take the mono into the FM of the oscillator, select the source, turn the source down on the mixer, hit send notes to source, now you're able to FM it. This is cool because it uses a waveform that's not available in the modular. Let's go back to the wave editor real quick. Have you ever tried loading something and it doesn't show up? Chances are the name just might be too long. Go to load, and here's one that has 60 characters. If we hit load, it's blank. It's noteworthy that if you hit play, it'll make caustic crash. Here's a little clip. Oh wait here, let's exit out of this, go in this again. Now we can load this. Load, now play. Oh, yep, it's gonna crash. Look, watch, watch. <laughs> yeah, all right, this one is confirmed. That one crashes. It's noteworthy that you can actually use a sample that has 59 characters in the name, but once you hit 60, it won't load. Speaking of crashing, do you know that the sequencer can only handle 512 notes? If you put in 513 notes, caustic will crash. Here's another example. If you try to add one more note, making it 513, it will crash. So let's do this again. Yep, see, we tried to do it in there, and now it's going to crash. Boom! We've all spent our time searching for samples with the beatbox. If you hit these three buttons, and you try to find a sample, you have to hit the preview every time, which can be pretty tedious. But if you long press it, now all you have to do is click on the sample and it'll play. Since we're in the beatbox, let me show you how you can arpeggiate it. Load up a sample. Brockhard Entertainment. Load up a modular, put in a machine input, select the sort to beatbox, and have an arpeggiator. Select send notes to source. Now, hit C3. Brockhard Entertainment. It's noteworthy that all the samples within the beatbox are contained within the first eight keys starting on C3. Since we loaded ours on channel one, all we have to do is hit C3. Rock hard entertainment. Feel free to put these to different parameters to hear how it sounds. Rock hard, rock hard, rock, 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 rock hard, rock hard, rock, rock hard entertainment. You can also do it with the PCM synth. <laughs> to get the high and low notes, make sure the octave is set to three, and your sample on the PCM synth has a low note of C1 and a high note of C8. If this video helped you, Leave your social security number and your mother's maiden name in the comments. Just kidding, go make some music. Amateurs.